all of you to give you the message. We don't have any other place. The nation belongs to all of us. We're here talking. The organizer, honorable speaker spoke first, welcomed all of us, followed by the Senate president. We all know their positions in this country. The Senate president is by virtue of counting this country is the number three man in this country. The speaker two, the number four man in this country. His eminence spoke as well. And you can see the trajectory of everything that they are saying the same thing. The gatekeepers of our, their nation are here, the service chiefs, and if you look at this all, on the average, the age of each and every one of us here is between the bracket of 50 and about 60, the early 60s. And anybody can challenge me if I'm wrong. Our their country that has brought all of us together here, the youngest serving governor is only 46 years old. And we all know the demography of this country. The demography of this country is above 50, all the way to age of dependency, is less than 30%. But between the age of 18 to under 40, we have them in numbers of more than 70%. And we're talking about security here. Who are the active participants whenever we have breakdown of law and order? It is the average age of 18 to 39. And that's the truth. Are they ghosts? Are they invisible? The answer is no. They are human beings. Even our laws, our constitution, they will say at some point, very active civil servants will live on the average of 60 years old because they know why, because they are getting tired. Maybe the judiciary extends till 70 years old, some 65. They will even say 35 or 30 years whichever comes earlier. We all know all these laws. But every time we're talking the talk, we're talking the talk. Number two man, number three man, number four man, they are all saying the same thing the way His Eminence said it. And the participants are not faceless. They are not ghosts. It is very idiotic and stupidity for us to be doing the same thing over and over and over again and expect a different result. We will continue to get the same result. Let's be very truthful and honest to ourselves in this country. We all know the problems. How well are we carrying along these people in that age bracket? who are representing that age bracket in this all? The answer is no. We are not engaging them at all. But whenever we want to go for political posts, appointments, we go back to them. We know the good, we know the bad, and the ugly in their category. As traditional rulers, they are the most active in our system. Let us tell ourselves the truth. They are hungry and they are angry. I repeat, they are hungry and they are very angry. All of us that are here, I will be very happy if anybody can raise up their hand and say I can go to my 
area of constituents, my local governments, and I can stay there in peace for one week. Who can do it here? Including our gatekeepers. Who can do it here? Including the Senate President. Including the Speaker. But you left the traditional rulers. You left district heads, the ballets, to continue to stay there. And you are saying, all will be well in this country. We are the ones facing these youths. We know their problems. And we have been talking every time. You sit in beautiful offices and you all think all will be well. Let us be very truthful in this country. Look at this beautiful building. As beautiful as this building is. If the foundation is wrong, the entire building will collapse. Because the foundation has a problem. In this gathering, the, the, the Senate President mentioned the key factor. The collapse of local government. It has collapsed. Let's be very truthful to ourselves. It has completely collapsed. Because that's the only arm of government that is, number one, the foundation of this country. You don't have any other foundation. We are only building on a castle that has been completely broken down. That is the foundation that will gather the most active age bracket for you in this country. You say we have 774 local governments and several wards. Where do we have the words being put together? It's under the local government constituency. They are underfunded. You don't even reference them for anything. You don't even care about the administration. Where did we get it wrong in this country? We all have faults. All of us here. If we keep talking every time, we will not get any result. It's getting worse. They are getting more emboldened. They are now very bold and they are ready to face anybody because they are hungry and they are angry. Let us change our strategy. Let us change our style. You leave this age bracket. If there will be a problem, you will give them guns to start to move around. You will never see anybody above our age in our comfort zone here that is really ready to face the music. It's very important for all of us to know that we are not all safe. We are not safe at all. Let us engage a lot of youth organizations that are very relevant, that understands the local government administration, the governance within every district, every category of the localization of this country is very important for us and continue to engage them in every program we do in this country. You have neglected that category completely. The hall we are right now, you have neglected them because they are not represented here. They are not at all. So what are we going to come out here to talk about? And that is our foundation. It is our foundation. We should be very serious in this country now. We should talk very seriously. This issue of security, this national security, is not the problem of the service chiefs, is not the problem of the lawmakers, is not the problem of the executive arm of government, it's the problem of all of us. How many of this active population that are under you, that you are taking care of? What's the essence of you being a politician? That you cannot even move around freely. You cannot. Nobody. Are you, are, do you think Abuja is only Nigeria? Or Lagos is only Nigeria? 36 states of this country. Some people are there. You left them. You abandoned them. And you are making laws and you are administering. What are you administering? I do not know. So let us talk to ourselves very seriously. The people that are not ghosts. This people that are agitating left and right, we need to engage them. We need to actually engage them and separate the corn from chaff. We know the good and the bad amongst them. We can easily separate them by engaging them. Draw them closer. 
And I will give you a good example from my own community. If a Modakeke war has been the very strongest communal clash in southwestern Nigeria. It's been on for a very long time. But what did I do? A very practical experience. I decided to engage the youth. For me to engage them one-on-one -on -one so that I can separate the bad one and the good one. Something happened recently. We almost had another breakdown of law and order. The boundary line of the two communities, some people started shooting sporadically. And the two communities started converging and moving away from the boundary lines. And they were agitating. The war has started again. The war has started again. I had to come out and call the youths around that we need to do it at the dead of the night. Let us go to the boundary and see the people that are doing all these things. Lo and behold, we went to the boundary and we realized that the youths of the two communities are trying to protect their own territory. At the end of the day, it is just an artificial noise that they are just raising. If we engage the people that are active, it will be a lot easier for each and every one of us. On this note, I want to thank the organizers and I want to tell us that enough of us talking the talk, let us walk the walk. God bless us and God bless Nigeria.